Alrighty. Okay, so a couple things. Firstly, you despicable SOB. I actually had a talking point that I was going to bring up on this video that, hey, we did not make a new all-time low today uh, for Mullen. But literally, as I'm getting my uh, recorder loaded, uh, we ended up making a new all-time low. So I guess that talking point just uh, literally went down my uh, pooper. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, some other good things. One, I did get a better quality microphone. Hopefully, uh, any of you watching notice a difference, uh, a little bit more clearer. I was actually li listening to some different uh, different recordings um, that, that, I, that I just made uh, before actually making this recording. And it does sound slightly better, so um, hopefully you all uh, notice a difference. Once again, uh, thank you to anyone watching who is a um, sexy and awesome subscriber. I uh, believe we're still at 15, uh, which I, I am ext extremely grateful of. And, and like I said, I'm not, not entirely sure where this journey is going to take me, but um, we do have a lot to talk about. And the overall market right now is still just in a death spiral. We got, we got bad stuff happening in the Middle East. Um, we got terrible inflation still, or, or I, I, I wouldn't say terrible inflation, but inflation, it's not going the way it should be going. We have a hawkish Fed. Um, we got Mullen with a new all-time low. <laughs> it is 2.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I really want to get off my computer. I'm a little exhausted. Um, I would like to exercise. And then I then I actually have a hot date with a cucumber. Um, now, this cucumber is not going anywhere crazy. Dude, don't, don't think about that. Um, but it is going into a luxurious Hendrix and tonic. Yes, I, I, I do love gin tonics, and I do like my premium gin. Um, so I would like to get a little house tonight uh because today is friday also and hopefully everyone had a good week um in the terms of uh trading you know it's it's pretty remarkable how i i actually did very well day trading this week but like 90 percent of my profits are just gone because my stock that i'm currently holding including mullen is just taking a nosedive with the overall market and it's one of those crappy type of things, but it is what it is. You can only just look for the future and say, hey, inflation probably won't be here forever. Hopefully, uh, wars pretty much don't happen anymore. But you look back in history, it just it's terrible. Um, I would rather put prayers into the Middle East nonsense rather than putting prayers into Mullen because... Mullen no longer needs prayers. What we need for Mullen is we need uh we need a Hail Mary. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, definitely prayers have to go out for um any nation as in, in, involved in, in a conflict in a war. But Mullen needs a exorcism. We we we, we gotta exercise this stock. <laughs> oh, we definitely do. Okay, so before we get to the charts, um, and before we start talking about some other stuff, if you're if you're new here, like I said, think about subscribing. Um, I am on X, um, Twitter, um, same name on here as on X and Twitter, and um, I want to go over a couple things. And this video is definitely going to be a um, a, a price uh, target video. Uh, let, let me pull up. Uh, where are you? Okay, so I can't. I, I honestly can't believe it's been one month. One month ago, I posted this video, Mullen Short Squeeze Price Target, $70 to $315. And this price target was based on a couple things. One, it was based on, it, well, it's, first of all, Mullen cannot just randomly squeeze. It needs news and the right type of news. But this video was based on uh, two different types of price points. One, um, a technical analysis TA price point, and then it was also based on a fundamental price point too as well. And this video is going to be very similar, but before we dive in to the price target of this video, um, and of course, maybe in a month from now, if I'm still making content, I, I mean, honestly, if Mullen gets delisted in a month from now, because 
We're trading below the 35 mil market cap for, um, I don't, it's, I, I don't even know how many days. I, I think now 20. I really don't know what's going to end up happening. Hopefully nothing too drastic, but Mullen has not dropped news today. I honestly believe that David does not drop news when the overall market is having a bad day. Um, that's my, give me, give me a tinfoil hat, but I really, that, that's from seeing stuff before. You look back at, you look back in time, Mullen drops epic news when the market is rallying. Um, if the market's not rallying, they're, they're, I mean, it's it, it, good news. It's just going to be squashed. It's going to suck. So no news has came out today. David Mitchery has, of course, not bought any new shares. We can get rid of this. There's no new SEC filings that have came out. Uh, no news, like I said. The short percent has gone down, though. It used to be, I believe, like 19 point something. Um, but Mullen is still heavily shorted. Heavily shorted. Cost of borrow is, is still extremely high. So let's go ahead and move over to the charts really quickly for a daily update. Then we'll go ahead and dive into the short squeeze my my prediction to be a price target and why i'm basically basing those targets off that stuff um and the reason why that i'm making another another price target prediction is because it's been a month things have obviously happened within a month by all means i am not an fa um i'm not a um i, I i'm just a small fish in a big pond i've been pulverized by mullen you can watch my previous videos to get my history I, i've been theoretically in Mullen since March of 2022. Um, there's a lot of really good people still covering Mullen content. Financial Ernie is extremely detailed. Um, Business Dad, he no longer really covers covers Mullen anymore, and I don't blame him. But um, I'm primarily focusing on the charts, and the charts do not lie. And let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so. First of all, there is low volume on Mullen once again today. Um, I've been saying this in multiple videos. Bullish. Extremely bullish. Low volume. We're at 204K right now. A a average volume has been dropping. Let me check. Weeble. Yep, Weeble is the same as Robinhood. Um, trading view. Uh, trading view is not caught up yet. But Robinhood and Weeble has the same volume, so I'll go ahead and trust trust them over TradingView. Um, we, we literally just made a new all-time low. Okay, so all-time low, 378. Let's adjust that. These are pivot levels, pivot levels on today. Mullen is just following the overall trend of the market, which is very unfortunate. The trend of the market right now has just been beaten down. There's, there's, really, there's really nothing here. Um, nothing pretty much happened. I mean, I mean, we did trend up right before market open, but then stuff started coming out about the Middle East, especially with, I, uh, with, with um, um, Iran and Israel. And I think that's why Mullen is just following the overall trend. I believe Spy is also taking a hit too. Uh, yeah, just everything. Every every position I have is, is in the red today. Um, so... Is that good or is that bad if you look at Mullen on today's time frame? It's not the greatest, but at the same time, Mullen is down 3.3%. The trend on the one minute, the trend on the five minute is, is just all down. But, I mean, some some stocks today are down by 5, um, 10, 10%. Mullen is, Mullen is not completely selling off. Um, which is a positive thing. Let's go ahead and go to the daily time frame now. So each one of these candlesticks represents one day. As you see, we are just on, we have not bottomed. And it really does suck. I, 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 uh, yesterday's video, I talked how we could have a possible bottom here. Um, we're still on a downtrend. Um, I am not. I have not bought any more Mullen shares. I bought Mullen. I bought more Mullen shares. Uh, not yesterday, uh, April tenth. So two days ago, I have not bought. And, and I. I do not recommend. I, I mean, unless we get news. 
and the market kind of does a hard reverse. We're just going to keep seeing a hard downward type push, which really does suck. All right, so that's pretty much for the updates I'm all in just talking about today. Um, go, going over just doing our daily routine. We, we, we look at SEC filings. We look at any possible news, any stock that you guys are thinking about buying, owning. You, you always got to do your due diligence and you always got to be following up on them, especially high risk. Or it's, it's, Mullen is not a high risk. Mullen is a, it's, it's either, it's either going up or it's either going down, brother or sister. <laughs> it's, uh, woo, it's, uh, yeah, it's something. It's, it, it is a ultra, it's, it's a ultra risk. Um, okay. So now, um, Let's go ahead and talk about a short squeeze, possible short squeeze price prediction. Once again, do not take anything I say with, um, it's, it's, I, I mean, there, there are, I don't even know how many, I, I want to say maybe hundreds of thousands of stock analysts in the world, probably even more, maybe millions. Uh, it, it's gotta be millions. I, I, I honestly can't really tell you if anyone gives you a price target. It's based on something, but in order for that price target to happen, you got to get the right news. I can sit here and I can tell you Mullen is going to, Mullen can reach this level if it gets this news. Um, and, and that's the reality of it. We, we need, we need honestly a, a saving grace Hail Mary. Uh, but let's say hypothetically that we do get what we actually need uh th these are uh th these lines here are exponential moving averages um really re you you can use these on any type you can look on the daily time frame you can look at the 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 uh the hour 30 minute fit etc etc et cetera, et cetera. but hypothetically from a technical point of view because i'm going to give you guys two price targets and these are realistical price targets and if these price targets offend you because your average on Mullen is way above these price targets. I, 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 yeah, it's, I, I, I don't really think I should be apologizing. It's just, it's the truth. All throughout 2022, I listened to a lot of radical people. Um, because I was holding a gigantic bag in Mullen all throughout 2022. And I was listening to some people that gave these insane price targets, but they had nothing to back them up on. So I do have some stuff to back these price targets up on, and they're very realistic. And it's, you know, for some people, you may get some of your money back. For some people, you may not get very much back at all. Some people, you may actually break even, and some... You, you, you might just don't even care because right? there, there's people that don't even care about Mullen anymore, which is very unfortunate. But let's go ahead and say from a TA point of view that we go ahead and get epic news. Collection of revenue is what is going to get this stock moving. Where do we have a lot of resistance looking at the charts where do we have a lot of easy momentum to really move up on? Like I've been saying in previous videos, anytime that we do something like this, where we do a waterfall, we drop very quickly, or something like this, we, we drop extremely quickly, we can retake all this area very, very quickly. So the faster that we drop, the faster we can reclaim it. So Mullen, Mullen could very well go from $3.78 could could shoot all the way to six high sixes seven dollars very quickly with the right piece of news if i had to guess what the news would be it would be collection of revenue um it would be like hey we just collected the 17.5 million dollars that we invoiced at randy marion we are projected to do this amount of revenue this year we are projected to deliver this vehicles we are selling these vehicles etc 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 guidance we need we need guidance collection of revenue my throat is killing me i wish i had a gin tonic but i'll wash my throat down with a bottled water <laughs> um so we need collection of revenue and i think i think honestly 
That is what's going to be the big push up. Now, from a te- from a from a, t- a technical point of view, I am a, I am TA technical analysis. I'm primarily a day trader and a swing trader now. Mullen has kicked my bum and has made me go from a investor to now a day trader, which has actually been working out pretty better for me. Um, because apparently I suck as a investor. I really do. Um, okay. So where do I see a heavy level of resistance? And I'm talking a heavy, heavy level of resistance that we are going to have a problem. A problem to get over. Let's say Mullen collects revenue right now. They drop epic news and we start just squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. What is my realistic price target for a technical analysis short squeeze? Honestly, it would be in this area. And if this is a number that nobody wants to hear, I apologize, but here is my reasoning, and this is the reason why. I would honestly give a technical analysis price target on Mullen between 18 bucks as high as 20 as high as let's say $22. So Let's go ahead and say the low side of 18 bucks. Why? Because we hit $18 two times. So for anyone that does not know anything, and, and, and if you do know this, um, I, I don't mean to insult your intelligence. It's just that some people just really don't know. So these are candles. Each one of these candles represents one day. If you see a green candle like this, that means that we opened on the day at 1680 and we closed on the day at 2074. The wicks, the, the stems on the candle is, is the high of the day and also as low as we went on the day as well. Now, it's reverse on a red candle. We ended up opening at 2033 and then we closed at 1744 that was a bad day um but we ended up going as low on the day as 1717 but we were as high on the day as 2119 um so that's how you read candlesticks but if you see here excuse me we were at 21 bucks and we basically pretty much challenged all this red waterfall here we could not get above this waterfall So we ended up selling off from a technical analysis standpoint. And then we sold off more. We obviously did the reverse stock split. We got news. We pushed all the way up 130% in one day. I ended up day trading. uh, I ended up taking away 60% on that day in profits. That was a very good day for me. Still have not recuperated my losses at all from this asset. But we ended up crashing back down. And then we tried to get above 18 bucks again and we we failed so if we got the right piece of news from a technical analysis standpoint a realistical target would be 18 to 20 22 dollars because we have so much resistance here why does this matter is because there are people like me out there believe it or not there are people that look at ta all day long right now we have stocks like TPET, which is running all day long, all day long, this stock is running. And traders like myself, we look at stuff like this. We look for all this stuff and we jump on in and we ride it until it's basically pretty much over. But this stock has been running like massively crazy all day long. Um, I believe the stock is is uh, Israel related. Uh, nope, nope, nope. N- never mind. Uh, it's, I, I know there is a lot of a lot of stocks running because of what's going uh, happening. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is from a technical from a technical standpoint. Now, if we do break all these levels right here, so so if we end up pushing past eighteen twenty two. The next big level that we're going to have resistance is honestly all this. All this area. For anyone that remembers back in October, this, this seems like it happened yesterday, but it, it happened actually, you're talking almost eight months ago. Um, we do have a gap um, from 
it, it appears 28 to 34 and I, I don't believe this gap has been filled some people may argue that these wicks ended up filling the gap but i i, I really don't believe it did so it's it's all te it, it, it all comes down to technical analysis by looking at this stuff because it, because a technical trader is going to look at Mullen and be like, okay, Mullen just collected $17 million of revenue potentially, or maybe even more. Um, if I were, if, if, if you were to take right now, uh, where are you? Where's my calculator? Hold on. This thing is being a pain in my bum. All right. If you were to take $10,000, right? Um, actually let's, let's, let's go back. Um, the most that I typically day trade with is $5,000. So let's say if I took $5,000 and I were to go ahead and buy Mullen right now, which is $3.81, you get 13, 13, 12. Let's say, let's, let's go ahead and times 18. That is incredible. That is absolutely just incredible for it. That is it just, it, that is unbelievable. So you're talking 18 divided by 381. You're talking a 472% squeeze that could potentially happen if we get the right momentum and if we break certain levels. That would be insane. That's absolutely, I mean, that's absolutely, right, right now, if you look on uh, scanners, on, on, the, on Weeble, on Weeble scanners, right now we got TPED up 138%, followed by PXMD up 107%. That's, in, that, that's amazing. So that, that might be a number that people may not want to hear, but I could also make a video on something that I actually did fairly recently to another stock that I was holding, um, and I, I probably will, but... Yeah, so I mean, a four hundred and seventy a four hundred and seventy percent run theoretically, that that's absolutely incredible. So that is that is a price target from a technical 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 like blah, 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 blah. technical analysis TA technical analysis, um, based on heavy levels of resistance, based on what Mullen has done before in the past. Has Mullen ran over 100% in one day? Abs yes, Mullen has. Mullen has ran 100% in one day. We, we, we have gone up significantly. So can Mullen run for it? Sure, any, any stock can with the right piece of news. Um, so that is the TA standpoint um, that we pretty much have. Now I want to go over the fund fundamental analysis uh uh point of view or rather price 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 target what is going on here let's go come on stock titan i gotta get me some gin tonics what is going on with you i don't know i don't know if this is my web browser or something but you're what the i did not ask to go to google I asked to go to stock time. All right, this thing needs an ass kicking. Give me one second. Okay, so apparently stock time is actually down right now. I, I can't believe that, but let's go ahead and go to the Mullen uh, press release area. Um, where are you? So we're going to go over fundamental analysis price price target right now do, 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 do. where are you okay strongest financial yeah my strongest financial my bum um assets 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 where are you okay let's let's go ahead and use 381 mil and then we go ahead to 420 so three 380 420 let's go ahead and use that okay um so david mitchery is very big and notorious for saying Mullen is undervalued and he doesn't understand why, etc., 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 etc. We've all heard that plenty enough times through through David Mitchery, anyone who's been following Mullen for the last uh, year now. So let's say hypothetically something happens where Mullen gets evaluated at the price that it should be trading at. It would need the mother of all news. And I'm talking about maybe 
I honestly don't even really know. I could spend all day talking and guessing. I would honestly really think that it would be probably most likely um, a purchase order from a humongous company out there. Maybe, maybe even, maybe even the government, whether it's RRDS, um, maybe even the Pentagon it, or, or, or something. If, if Mullen were to get a gigantic purchase order with no strings attached, no strings attached being, hey, um, we want $400 million worth of M1 vehicles. We are going to front load you capital so you don't have to worry about the capital to manufacture these vehicles. And how fast can you produce them? So NVIDIA is um, or was on a gigantic run ever since they dropped earnings um, a couple months ago. Why? Is because their guidance and their earnings were amazing. And people saw NVIDIA as just being undervalued. I, I mean, NVIDIA was trading before their earnings, I believe, just under $700 per share. And they were just exploding afterwards. Uh, I, 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 I don't follow NVIDIA. So I, I don't know if these numbers are accurate or not, but I think they almost reached a thousand bucks a share. I could be wrong, could be right. But anyways, a fundamental trader looks at NVIDIA's earnings and be and they're like, whoa, wait a second, this, this company's undervalued. You know, the, 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 the price to earnings ratio is undervalued. It, it, this company is gonna be producing so much revenue. Mullen's market cap is 25 mil. They just got a PO of 500, 400 mil, et cetera, et cetera. So now you take in a, a fundamental squeeze, which is so much more powerful than a technical, a technical analysis squeeze. Why? Technical analysis squeeze. You have traders getting in, getting out. You have the stock pretty much pumping and dumping, essentially. It pumps, it dumps. It pumps, it dumps. Fundamental analysis, you have long-term bulls getting on in. How many long-term bulls got into NVIDIA after their earnings they're still holding? My guess would be a lot. How many institutions increased their position into NVIDIA? Probably a ton. If Mullen were to get something magnificent, and I'm talking magnificent, and let's say we go ahead and use, let's use 380 mil. So 380 million uh, dollars um, divided by 25 million, which is the current market cap. So you're talking a fundamental analysis squeeze of 15.2 times. That is 1,500% that Mullen could, but I, I mean, it, is, is that possible? Can Mullen run 1,500% in one day? Yes, that is realistical. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, for 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 um for giggles, let's go ahead and use uh 500 mil, um, because at one point years ago, a couple years ago, Mullen was talking about getting a 500 million dollar federal loan. Yeah, we we never heard any more about that. But let's go ahead and say, uh, something magnificent happened where Mullen got an opportunity to get a PO of half a bill, um, divided by 25 million market cap. Uh, can it's, is is it possible for Mullen to run two thousand percent? Yes, that is possible. Stocks can do that. Now, can Mullen run two? Can can Mullen run twenty thousand percent? That is very unlikely, and I, I I I don't mean to to break anyone's hearts, but that's unlikely. So, if Mullen were to run by fifteen point two percent on the low end, we got. Uh, oh, what, what am I doing? 15.2 times. What is Mullen? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're making a new all-time low right now. Uh, Mullen's fundamental short squeeze price target would be $57-ish. $57-ish. So, okay, so we would fill this gap here. We would break this entire waterfall. Um, if Mullen were to trade of what their assets currently are they would be trading back in september of last year which is pretty much in this area is this possible absolutely 
with the right news. Can Mullen go to $500 a share? That's very unlikely. And and I mean, you're you're talking about the mother of... That, that would be a mother of all short squeeze. Right here would just be a typical short squeeze. Mullen going up by 1,500%. Stocks have done that. Um, you would get a lot of people buying in for the future, especially if Mullen had phenomenal guidance. But who really knows? Do, do not take these videos like please do 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 your own due diligence but it is let, let me let me let me let me put it into this perspective for you sometimes it is better to listen to two sides of the argument i am a ta argument out there i believe that mullen could end up pushing with the right news all the way to reclaim down here we reclaim here and honestly we're probably going to get stuck in this area, if I had to bet, guess anything, so right around 18 to 22 bucks, that's probably where you would get stuck pretty much at. Um, however, going off of fundamental analysis, if you want to base Mullen on what their assets are worth, then you're talking about much higher. So take this video with a grain of salt. Um, if, if anyone stuck around through the full portion of this video, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you like these videos, if you get value out of them. If uh, you wanna, if you, if any, it's, if you think I should be making maybe like a, a guide type videos of, you know, maybe going into a little bit more depth of how I read charts a little more clearer or maybe what I'm thinking, I could do that also. Um, I just really enjoy speaking my mind and um, I, I'm really enjoying how people are watching these videos. It feels good and hopefully this brings value to some people. Otherwise, um, hope everyone has a great weekend and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. All right, later everyone.